What's going on all you ride people? Today, we're taking a look at some candy petals. Ah, yeah, those aren't, those aren't that, the right kind of candy. I, I'd, much, I'd much prefer like a Starburst. All right, so in all serious, these are the Crank Brother candy petals. These are their petals that are more designed towards uh, gravel, cross country, and some light trail duty. The candy petals come in with a little bit more of a platform versus the egg beaters, but not quite to the extent of the mallet petals. So where these fall in is you have super cross country gravel, maybe even road if you want. These are going to be your uh, like light duty trail to cross country. And these are more of your enduro heavy trail downhill kind of pedal. These are actually pretty cool. I did actually end up liking these pedals for the most part, albeit they don't have as nice of a platform as say the, the mallets, but they do have just enough to give you some extra support. These are the stamp ones, which means they are the composite body, which means they're going to be A, lighter, and B, way cheaper. So these right now, on Crank Brothers website is $60. So you, they do come in four different colors. You have red, blue, pink, and black. Obviously I have the black here. Because these are the composite pedals, they are actually pretty light. So for a pair, they only weigh about 294 grams. And that's that's pretty light for some pedals, uh, especially considering if you're comparing them to like the, uh, the mallets for instance, those are a lot heavier. I have had a chance to use these for a while on some light duty and some trail riding and a little bit of gravel riding. I do like them for the most part. These do take the Crank Brothers cleats. If you're new into a cliffless and you're not sure on whether or not you want to go Shimano or Crank Brothers, some of the big differences is that Shimano is, in my opinion, a lot easier to learn on. You can clip out a lot easier, whereas crank pillars, they are harder to unclip, but they do keep you in more securely. I can't really speak to whether or not they clear mud very well because I live in the desert. We don't have mud. We're lucky enough to get any rain that we do, and when we do, it turns into hero dirt. If you are starting out, I would actually recommend going with these over the egg beaters. These are gonna give you a little bit more of a platform. Going back to this, but the platform is nice on these, in my opinion. Some notable features on this is these actual grip pads that they have right here. These are not user replaceable on the candy ones, but on the higher end ones, you can actually swap these out. You wish that the pedal was a little bit taller because you do get some of this right here. And that's kinda, I don't really like that in a pedal. I'd, I'd rather much have a nice, more secure fit just, just for comparison, here is the mallet pedal, and there's not nearly the amount of flex in play here. Um, these definitely grip quite a bit better. And now, this is going to change between shoe to shoe. Not all shoes are gonna run into this issue. In fact, let me grab another pair of shoes real quick. These are actually the Crank Brother Mallet E, I think, Mallet E, I'll have to double check, but these are their uh, clip-in shoes. And right now we'll put this on. Same thing, quite a bit of play. And this is more of a trail kind of shoe, so you would expect it to be a little bit different, but yeah, it's still, still got a lot of play. Make sure you subscribe for a future video on these. There's something special about these shoes, but you're gonna have to wait for that video to come out. So yeah, overall, these are a pretty good pedal. I uh, don't have too many complaints with it. Mainly it's just that the there's just too much play like that. So your feet kind of bobble around a little bit more than I would like. Before you go, you should probably take a look at the Crank Brother Double Shot pedals. This video is gonna explain who those pedals are for.